and welcome to the WIHS Journal, Public Affairs from 104.9. I'm Paul Kretschmer, welcoming you to the program and turning the mic over to Matt Harper for today's conversation. We're talking today with Dr. Michael Duby, head of school at Christian Heritage School in Trumbull. Dr. Duby is a Connecticut State Certified Administrator and an adjunct faculty member at Grand Canyon University. He served as an administrator of two Christian schools spanning a 20-year period. He was formerly the upper school principal at Jupiter Christian School and head of school at Masters Regional Academy, and he now serves as head of school at Christian Heritage School in Trumbull, as I mentioned. Dr. Michael Duby, thank you for taking some time to join us today here on WIHS. Yeah, it's my pleasure, Matt. I appreciate the opportunity to share my heart a little bit and, and share about Christian Heritage School. I've had the blessing of heading down there to the school a couple times now over the past few years, meeting you in person. And each time I do, my heart is stirred, first of all, because of who you are as a Christian leader that God has brought to our region. And I'm so grateful that people like you have chosen to invest their lives in Connecticut. Can you just tell our listeners some of the story of how God led you into Christian education and ultimately brought you to Christian Heritage School there in Trumbull? Yeah, absolutely. So I was I was actually born and, and raised here in Connecticut, the son of two public school teachers, 35-year public school teachers. I always knew that God had a call in my life to work with young people, to teach, to mentor young people. I had a plan of right after college, I went to UConn, bachelor's degree in criminal justice. And so my plan was to go into law enforcement for about 20 years, retire, and then go teach. That was my plan. God had a little bit of a different plan. I actually did go into law enforcement. I was a Connecticut State Trooper here in Connecticut for a period of time. But shortly after that, I just sensed the call sooner and went into public education, got my master's degree, and a public school teacher for about five years, six years. And then I became part of a ministry that was starting a Christian school from scratch in Rhode Island, and we did not have a teacher, a pencil, a ruler, and we just had a call from God to raise up a school where he would be honored and where young people would learn about him and become who he wants them to be. And so I spent 15 years starting and leading a Christian school in Rhode Island. I spent some time in Florida, as you mentioned as well, and then God brought us back here to Connecticut, and I was just overjoyed by that because this is my home. This is where we lived, and this is where we've sown our lives for most of our lives here in Connecticut, and an opportunity came up. God orchestrated a number of things I won't go into, but it became very, very clear that He was calling me to be part of what He's doing here at Christian Heritage School. And I'm so glad God did that. Speaking of Christian Heritage School, tell us about the school. Just kind of share the vision for what God is doing there in your ministry. Yeah, absolutely. I believe we're unlike any other school. I really believe that, and the reason I say that is because our mission is first and foremost to partner with parents in teaching and training children. We know what God says. God says that it ultimately is a parent's responsibility to teach and train their child. He gives, and I'm a dad, so he gives me, his own parents, that privilege and blessing, but also that responsibility. And so when a family comes to us, or parents come to us and say, would you partner with us at Christian Heritage School? We take that to heart. We take that very, very seriously. We're not necessarily asking parents to vote on what the fifth grade math curriculum is going to be, but we are partners with parents. And so we live in a world where you see the opposite of that happening in, in many, many schools, many public schools, even many private schools where the people that are leading schools are saying to parents, sit down, be quiet, we know best. We'll tell you what your child needs to know. We'll teach them our morality and stay out of it. You're just a parent. We're the expert. That's not what we believe. We believe that parents are the experts about their children. We have some expertise, too. Like I said, I have 25 years in Christian Ed, a doctorate in education. I have some expertise. Our teachers are experts in what they do, but parents are the experts in their children. It's our honor to come alongside of parents. So the second part of our mission is to teach children, teach them academically with excellence. We believe in doing 
schooling well, and we believe that it's our mission to prepare our students well for whatever God has for them next. But more importantly than that, as we prepare them to do what God calls them to do, what we really want to do is to help them be who He wants them to be. That doesn't happen in any other type of school other than a school that is founded on truth. And we know there's only one source of truth, and that is what the Lord says. We're a place unlike any other. I love listening to you describe that philosophy of ministry. I've heard you talk about it in terms like that a couple of times now, and it does stir my heart. I'm so glad ministries like yours are there making an impact in education. We are speaking with Dr. Michael Doobie, head of school at Christian Heritage School in Trumbull, Connecticut. Dr. Doobie, you've talked in the past about the cultural condition of truth becoming relative. How do you address that concern there at Christian Heritage School? We live in a world where truth does become relative, where people just decide on their own what they think is true, what's not true, if truth can change from time period to time period. But we know as believers that there's only one source of truth, and that's what God says in His Word. And so it is extremely important to us that everything that we do here flows out of the belief, the truth, that what God says is true. Every single class, everything that we do, our athletic teams, our arts, our drama, every single thing that we do flows out of the belief that there's one source of truth, and that is what God says in His Word. And more so, the people that are standing in front of our students are people who understand and have embraced that truth. So every single person here that stands in front of a child is a person that has a personal relationship with Jesus and understands and knows that what they teach in that classroom, it needs to and does line up with what God says in His Word. Thank you for taking that stand. I know in popular secular circles, a stand like that might be viewed as quaint, outdated, it might even yeah. be viewed as intolerant, but it's yeah. biblical. Yeah. And it's just good to yeah. hear you saying these things and living it out. One last quick question before we let you go. How do people get in touch with Christian Heritage School to ask questions, schedule a visit, even get their children enrolled for the upcoming semester? We just had an open house. We had over 100 people in attendance at that open house. So people are recognizing the importance of what happens here and are looking for a place for their children. December 12th, we actually have a coffee get-together for parents that may be interested, and even a larger gathering on February 24th. We have an open house that's coming up, and all those details can be found at our website, christianheritageschool.org. That's the best way to get in touch with us, to learn about us, to sign up to come to an open house. We'd love to talk to you and share hearts and see if God may be calling your family to join our family here at Christian Heritage School. Michael, thank you for taking time to be with us here on WIHS Radio. We consider you and your school a ministry partner, and we want to encourage all of our listeners to take him up on that offer to get in touch with them if God is leading you to connect your family with their ministry in that way. We're talking today with Dr. Michael Duby, head of school at Christian Heritage School in Trumbull, Connecticut. Blessings, brother, and I look forward to the chance God gives us to see each other again. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate it, and we appreciate all you do as well at WIHS. For further information, call us at 860-346-1049, 860-346-1049. Or you can mail your question or response to office at WIHSradio.org. That's office at WIHSradio.org. We are always looking for worthy causes and organizations to share on the WIHS Journal. So if you have an idea, you can pass that word along to us at, once again, office at WISSradio.org or by calling 860-346-1049, 860-346-1049. The opinions expressed are those of the participants, not necessarily those of the staff or management of the station. I'm Paul Kretschmer on the WIHS Journal, public affairs from 104.9 WIHS.